Hi Aquarius, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the channel. If you're new or whether you are a cyber angel, a faithful follower, thank you for being here and really grateful that you return. This is your reading for the 24th to the 1st of March 2020. Okay, let's get started. First of all, you have the Magician. So you've got all the gifts, talents, and the wisdom uh, around you and within you to make your dream or wish come true. Wow. And it's also number one. So it's also a new beginning. Like I always say, there is an upside and a downside. So don't be an illusionist. Make sure that you know what you want and don't be also don't be disillusioned. That's the downside of the magician. Just be true to yourself and know that you can do this and that there is no illusions. What you want, you, you can make it happen. Okay, so don't daydream, don't be scared. Just go out there and put in the manifestation, visualization, and the actual go and get the attitude. Like I said, you, you must not get disillusioned or have any illusions. So you, there might be something still not, uh, yeah, I don't know how to say it. Excuse me for that. Um, but you must focus on the power that you have, the power of the mind, okay? On what to do and how to do it. Your thoughts can create your reality. And that's what you call manifesting. The mind is powerful. So make sure that you go within and that you look at what you want and whether it's really everything that you would like. Pay attention to your ideas and your inner chatter. Is it negative? Is it positive? What can you do about it? How can you go about getting what you want? Well, to make life easier, if you don't know how to meditate and focus, then an idea could be gather old magazines or use the internet and download um, images of what you want and print them off and create a vision board and put it somewhere that you see it every day so that every time you think about it you're putting your thoughts out into the universe so that the divine and the angels um, can, and the energies can pick up what you want then it won't take so long to come to you. So practice that. But make sure that you know what your energies are and where you want to focus your energy on. Just remember, just say, I have the power to manifest what I need. But you also need to find out more information because there might be something like a person. You might want a person and they come into your life, but you need more information on how they, who they are, where they come from. If they don't tell you everything, then do some searching. Not that I'm going to tell you, uh, don't trust people uh, uh, and all that, but just do some research. Is it true? Have a look at their Facebook or in their Twitter or their Instagram. And this is also very helpful because then you can find out what they like and you can surprise them uh, when you, your friendship is growing into a relationship. Then you have the Queen of Swords and she definitely loves clarity, honesty and justice. So let things come be clear to you this could also be a Gemini that you're meeting. It could be a caring, 
masculine Gemini if you're a lady that's got a nurturing side but is typically a Gemini or a Libra or an Aquarian. So get that information, they like clarity and um, then you can also give clarity if, if, if you are partnered up as to what you want. To put it into, put the words into pictures. Pictures, um, uh, pictures say a thousand words. So remember that, pictures say a thousand words. Just writing this down because I think it would be good in the title. Now, in the middle of the week, you've got the Four of Wands. Okay, that means that you might want a new home or you've just bought a new home or rented a new home and you're moving home or you might be getting married or you might be invited to a wedding. As the, the Four of Wands means stability, proper foundations. So friendships and uh, jobs, business will be built on proper foundations. And perhaps you might be meeting your partner at a celebration or a wedding. They do say from a wedding comes a wedding. So perhaps you want to get married. So, or then put a picture of a bridal dress on your vision board. Something will become clear. If you're in a judicial situation, then everything will be all right because there's proper foundations where you got the information from and the facts and the evidence, perhaps. But I, I learned because you've got the card of justice. And like I said, you might want to get married because justice, um, justice means like the uh, marriage, uh, marriage office, uh, the registry office. That is also a judicial uh, institution, a municipality. So you might have to do with municipality officialness, signing contracts um, for a house. Don't sign until at least around the 14th of March because Mercury is in retrograde. Okay, so don't sign if you can help it uh, before the 14th of March. Mercury is in retrograde, but something is becoming clear to you because you've got the source in the magician, you've got the Queen of Swords and you've got Athena. And she's like the Queen of Swords. She was a goddess of war and justice and um, so that's why uh, it's not in balance at the moment so wait until the 14th until um, you've got more clarity don't do anything too <clears throat> hastily because you've got a lot of swords in here and they're hasty let it be stable slow like the um, more like the ones they they are swift but they do think about things and they are logical. Okay, use your wisdom. The judgment card, also a justice card, has the owl on her um, shoulder, on Athena's shoulder. And that means get a good perspective. Keep your eyes peeled. Look how big they are. It's really, really ginormous. Look. I don't know whether you can see. But they stick out like a sore thumb to me. So you might be get, going to the registry office in the middle of the week or you're wishing to get married and you've put that on your vision board and your partner has seen it. Wow, um, they'll get the message then. Okay, even if you're not, even if you're partnered up and you're not married, you could be living together, so make it clear. At the end of the week, we've got the death card, and the death card is a transformational card, an ending to a situation or an ending to a phase, and you're going into another phase. You're the butterfly. You are changing. You're not the caterpillar anymore. You're appealing. You're beautiful, and you're going into a new phase. And this could be with love or something that you love. Or that you're passionate about. Perhaps it's a job that you want 
and you're passionate about. It could be in the healthcare because the cups stand for nurturing and caring. Passion, love, sensuality and sexuality. So something, a new emotional beginning is coming. Something that you love. It could be a new love. This could be a cancer. But we've got the Queen of Swords here, so that could be Gemini, Libra or Aquarian. And then we've got the Justice card, which is also represented uh, by Libra. And then we've got Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. And again, you've got the King of Swords at the weekend. So you have the Queen of Swords and you've got the King of Swords. So, and again, the overall energy, the, sorry, the King of Cups, the King of Cups. So you've got the Cups and you've got the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Swords twice, the overall energy. She stands for justice, clarity, honesty, wisdom, communication. So you might be meeting a Gemini and Libra or an Aquarian and they will definitely bring you um, clarity. And they will help you to get what you want. They will they will cut straight through to the core to get clarity and honesty. And you've got the justice uh, card there, so justice will be done. And the clarity will uh, could be news because you've also got the Knights of Swords. Um, the news that you want to hear: Yes, the mortgage will go through. Yes, I will get married. Uh, and this is for long term and has durability because I can communicate with my Gemini, Libra or Aquarian, be it a woman or a man. OK, sorry, this is the cups. But I can um, uh, I can communicate with the loving, caring king of cups. OK, and your wish is coming true because you've got the nine of cups. There will be celebrations. You've got the card for celebrations here and you've got the cards for celebrations there and wishes. And it's the same as the magician. So there is definitely a beautiful um, thought through new beginning. It's clear to you what you want. Your vision board is telling you, uh, yes, you're going to get it. There's new beginnings and yes, clarity and justice will be done. You'll get what you deserve. And so will the other if you're in a judicial situation. You will receive news through um, cyber. That could be email. That could be telephone or text message. And there might be more messages than one as you've got two knights on one horse. And I think it is uh, you will have more messages because the confirmation is double here as well. You've got two queens, you've got the justice, you've got long long term and durability that everything's going to be fine, stability, productivity. And you've got your talents that have made it. And it, perhaps you're, uh, you've got a friend that helped you to get clarity and justice. And I think it's more likely to be a woman than a man because the women are quite prominent, prominent in this deck, not because it's only the feminine deck, but also because Athena is the, um, the lady that represents justice and Libra. And the Queen of Swords, yeah, well, that's the Queen of Swords. You've got two queens. Okay. Um, Aquarius, um, I believe you're going to get what you want and you've been patient enough and it's clear to you now that it is here and you've made it clear to the other party as well. Then you've got the card, you've got no. This is not the definite no and I'm going to go into the answer of the angels and explain to you what I mean. The answer to your question is no. You may gather additional information by asking other an other question surrounding this issue and drawing an other card. So that is what I'm going to do. 
found because you are seeking more information. So I'm going to draw another card to get clarity on that no. And I will take this. Meditation brings answers. Meditation brings answers. Okay. I better put it that way. Meditation brings answers. Now, listen to your ideas. The Queen of Swords always uses her wisdom and intuition. And she's a thinker. Meditation brings answers. Trying to come up with an intellectual answer to your concerns hasn't been successful. That's because the solutions you seek can only be found by going within. Through meditation and inner spiritual work, you may also gather insights from your nighttime dreams as your subconscious creates solutions for you that are not available to your awakening mind. So, that um, this person, the Queen of Swords, here and here, and the Magician is also spiritual in a way, because he creates. So he has to go into his mind to have the power, mind over matter, to get his ideas. And the owl here, also a sign of wisdom. So go, and wisdom is your mind. So go within, go within, okay, and to find the answer. If there is something that you want, then look at your vision board and see whether you can find the answer there as well. Will, um, will I get divorced? No. Um, uh, will I get married? Um, no, not really, not until, perhaps you haven't got a partner, until you have a partner. The answer is within you. And that's what we do as life coach. We go within, we ask questions, so you have to really go within to think about the question. So try that. The answer is, you know the answer yourself. That's basically the issue here at hand. You know the question and if you don't know the oh, sorry you know the answer if you don't know the answer then go to somebody that can use their wisdom their status like the king queen and the uh, justice card they can use the status so if you don't know something go to a professional person and ask whether they can find out information if you need certain information or where you can find the information an institution for example the library but there's good good things happening something is definitely becoming clear for you and there's a load of new beginnings and stability then you've got this surrender card and surrender to joy so Take that leap of faith. That is what the photo is saying to me. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savour it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. Now there you are. The answer of what go within. Okay. Open your heart, open your solar plex, open your mind, that is also to wisdom. Then you will seek or find the answer. So, to recap it, the week, um, Sagittarius, there's loads of new beginnings, either in love or business. It certainly seems more in business-like and, um, and being business-like, but there could be also love because your wish and goal card is the magician and the nine of cups and it's coming true so long you believe okay take time out or do meditation to think and to listen to your thoughts and your intuition 
they will give you the answers on which step to take next. Just if you're in a judicial situation, justice will be done. Take that leap of joy and faith. You will be receiving news. Okay, my sweeties, I hope you've enjoyed this reading, Aquarius, and I hope to see you in the life tonight. Take care, and God bless, and be blessed. And please and share and like the video that is made. And give us the thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.